Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I transformed my little room while trying to stay on a budget. This is my media room and since the pandemic it's gone a bit ignored as far as organizing and updating. This is the smallest room in the house and it's a bit narrow like a lot of bonus rooms. I love the architecture of this space but it's time to change some other stuff in here. Behind the curtain is where I keep board games and DVD and Blu-ray cases. Yes, there's well over a thousand, over 2,000 now. But I keep the actual discs in binders in alphabetical order, so they're easy to find. First things first, I'm going to prep the walls for painting, which is extremely tedious. Um, I went with this really cool icy blue-gray color, um, but the whole process just took forever ever. 2,000 years later. I did go ahead and store my DVD cases away in storage bins so it looks a bit more organized. This was initially a closet if you couldn't tell. I just never put up the doors. And while the paint is drying I'm going to refresh my furniture. Instead of buying new seating right now I decided to try out these sofa and chair covers to see how much of a difference they'd make. And honestly, it wasn't a bad purchase. They were easy to put on. I love the color and it does make a big difference in the room. Now this little mess here that you saw at the beginning um, is going on the far wall to start my concession station. Those are actually wrought iron DVD stands from my old apartment that I'm using to store the candy. And it's candy you can get at any grocery store or dollar store. Of course, it's not a mini theater if you don't have a popcorn machine. I also got a small slow cooker specifically to warm my nacho cheese for my nachos. The shelf underneath will house my popcorn spices and condiments. I went with the TV because the way my ceiling angles a projector screen just isn't practical. I have another Insignia brand TV which has worked well for me, but let me know in the comments which TV brand is best in your opinion. So here's the finished project. My seating looks pretty cool. Uh, throw pillars are perfect with the decor. Um, storage bins for my games and miscellaneous techie stuff, they work well. Uh, yes, that's a classic Nintendo. And yes, I do have a binder with printed inventory of every movie that I own. I'm sure everybody has one of these. My fool's ball coffee table is nice and clean and this rug was such a good buy. It's super soft and it understood the assignment because it's perfect for this room. My concession station is ready to go. That nacho cheese is actually the same brand they use at the movie theaters in my area. It just makes movie night a little more authentic for me. As long as I have all my favorite snacks and drinks within reach, I'm a happy girl on movie night. Now 
The light strips really add the cool factor and those blackout curtains make it look like midnight in this room at 1 p.m. So let's see how I did budget wise because I did get a little excited when it came to a few things that I really wanted like that blockbuster throw. Um, it wasn't necessary, but it was necessary, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we can't win them all. I really did try though, y'all. But at the end of the day, I think it was worth it. I mean, I, I went from this to this for under a grand. So yeah, it's okay. There's always next time for me to win my own budget challenge. So what's the one snack you have to have while watching a movie? Comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.